Black screen. I used to go hunting with my daddy when I was a kid. Cut to exterior South Carolina woods day. Mary Jo Sanders, 15, stares through the scope of her rifle. Her father, 45, walks ahead of her. He nods to her in the direction of a deer. He taught me everything I know about surviving, different ways to hunt. The deer is in the scope of her rifle. Sometimes I wondered why I like to kill things. The animals seemed so innocent, but I liked the thrill of it. She shoots and the deer falls. Her father looks at her and smiles. Beat. My daddy died later that year. Some lunatic ran him down in a hit and run. Exterior South Carolina Country Road. Day. Her father walks down an empty road near the woods with a rifle slung on his back. He turns around. Close. Her father looks in horror as a car bears down on him. We hear a screech. Her father now lies dead on the road. Mary Jo, who has been following behind, exits the woods, finds him lying on the road, and screams. Insert, close. We see a car's bumper with a bumper sticker, a statement flag that is a cross between the South Carolina state flag and a Confederate flag. Under the flag is the Latin phrase, Spem Paris. The car speeds off from the scene. I'll never forget that day. It was the end of everything. Exterior South Carolina funeral day. I never met my mama. She didn't show up at the funeral. Mary Jo looks on as a preacher recites prayers at the funeral. Mary Jo throws a hand of dirt in the grave. She looks at the preacher. Mary Jo walks silently away from the funeral. She walks with a slight limp. The preacher was always telling me to forgive and forget, but some things can't be forgiven. To this day, I don't know that person who killed my daddy. To this day, I'm afraid somebody's going to have to pay for my daddy's death. I'm just not sure who. Super. Medea. Cut to black. Super. South Carolina. Fade in. Exterior, a silent country road. Day. A shoulder sign reads, Medea City Limits, population 5,356. Super. 15 years later. Exterior, Medea, South Carolina, Main Street. Day. A 4th of July parade is in full swing. The Medea High School Band struts forth in front of a large convertible Ford with a placard on the side that reads Mayor. Sitting next to the mayor, 55, and his wife, 50, is a decorated army officer in uniform, Jason Mitchell, 35. Exterior Medea, South Carolina, 4th of July parade crowd, day. An older Mary Jo, 30, watches from back in the crowd. She carries her infant baby, Kyle, with her, strapped on her back, papoose style. Exterior Medea, South Carolina, 4th of July, Parade Lectern, Day. The mayor stands behind a lectern and gives a speech. I want to welcome back Medea's favorite son and Medal of Honor recipient, Captain Jason Mitchell. Jason is one of the most decorated soldiers alive today. But medals are not what Jason is about. No, Jason is about service. Service to country, service to community, service to family. Jason walks to the lectern as the crowd cheers. Thank you, thank you. I just want everyone to know that when I was in Afghanistan, there was only one thought on my mind. That thought was of you, you here in Medea. He turns toward a beautiful woman, Ashley Minor, 30. Next to her stands her father, Cree Minor, 60, dressed in a business suit. I'd like to introduce y'all to my wife, Ashley. As most of you know, we were just married a few months ago. My high school sweetheart. He looks to her. Should I say anything? She smiles and covers her eyes with her hand. Let's just say, as far as I'm concerned, the sooner we start a family, the better. The crowd cheers and Ashley nods and smiles. Back to Mary Jo. Close as she looks at Jason giving his speech. Flashback. Int. Bar in Medea. Night. Jason, in civilian clothes, exchanges glances with Mary Jo, who sits at the bar drinking a beer. They smile at each other. She moves toward him. Long time no see. Exterior Durga Motel Room. Night. Jason leans against a door to one of the rooms, smiling. Mary Jo looks at him coyly and smiles. She approaches him slowly, leans her head against his chest. Interior Durga Motel Room, continuous. The door opens. Jason and Mary Jo fall backwards, and Jason shuts the door and moves them toward the bed. In bed, Mary Jo and Jason kiss passionately. Still love me? Always and forever. She eyes him longingly. Back to present. Jason speaks at the lectern. I'd also like to make an important announcement today. Beat. I've seen a sad trend in this country where we've forgotten our heritage. We've forgotten that the fight in Afghanistan... While a long fight has been a good fight, so this blue dog remains true. Yes, he does. The crowd cheers. I'm a gun owner. Yes, and proud of it. This blue dog remains true. And I support life. Yes, I do. This blue dog remains true. The crowd cheers again. And I'm a South Carolinian. And as a proud South Carolinian, I want to announce my candidacy for the U.S. Senate seat being vacated by Russ Crowley. The crowd cheers and the mayor returns to the lectern. Now that sounds like the kind of senator we need. And if I may be so bold, eventually the kind of president we need. The crowd cheers more. Mary Jo watches from back in the crowd with Kyle strapped to her back. 
Interior Mary Jo's Small House, Medea, South Carolina, Day. Mary Jo watches TV in her small house in a lower class neighborhood. Kyle sleeps next to her on the couch. She looks at the mail. Close, a second foreclosure notice from her bank. She tosses the letter on the coffee table and her cat Sam crawls onto her lap. Mary Jo next switches on the TV and a newscaster, 30, appears. As the economic downturn continues, politicians gauge how to most effectively deal with the political fallout. B-roll. We see Jason appear on the screen as he says a few words to a reporter. Her doorbell rings. She switches the TV off. She walks to the front door and opens it. A man in dark glasses peers at her. Frank Niles, 45. Mary Jo Sanders? Who's asking? Name is Frank Niles. I work with Jason Mitchell. And that makes you special? I'd like to talk a bit. Mary Jo looks him over. He removes his sunglasses. You mind if I come in? I think we can talk fine if you don't. She lights a cigarette. You shouldn't smoke those things, you know. Not good for the baby. Neither is no child support. Niall smiles. Jason wants to take care of you now. Really? Yes, really. Well, you tell him to go fuck himself. She slams the door. Niles knocks. Mary Jo! He waits, talks through the door. Mary Jo, I'm going to leave some papers on the door here. Some papers for you to sign. I want you to look them over. Be... Please, Mary Jo, for your kid, look them over. Niall slips the papers under the door, turns around, and walks away from the house. Mary Jo opens the door. You tell him I ain't signing nothing until he gets his ass down here and asks me personally. Mary Jo kicks the papers from the doorway into the house. He looks at her a moment, then she watches him leave. Exterior Calicare's daycare center day. Mary Jo takes Kyle out of his papoose and knocks. An elderly African-American woman caretaker, Kaylee, 60, answers. She has a kind face. Here you go, Kaylee. She hands Kyle to her. Okay, darling, have a good day. I appreciate you being flexible with the payments. It's okay, sweetie. It's the Christian thing to do. Mary Jo turns to leave. Times will get better, Mary Jo. Don't worry. Mary Jo nods and leaves. Interior Corporate HQ, Cree Miner, Columbia, South Carolina, day. Frank Niles exits an elevator and walks through the hall toward a posh office. An admin assistant, 20, greets him. He's expecting you. Interior Large Executive Office, day. Niles enters the office and sits in front of Cree Miner. The office is large, well-appointed, and meant for an executive. Miner speaks on the phone, finishes his conversation, then turns to Niles. What did she say? Should I be blunt or polite? Miner taps his fingers on the desk. Interior Dexter's Restaurant Day. Dexter's Restaurant is an old-style diner. Mary Jo, dressed in her waitress outfit, takes an order from Max, 45. Hey, Mary Jo, you see old Jason Mitchell give his speech? Does the sun rise in Alabama? I thought it was damn impressive. Usual? Nah, I'll think I'll have something different. How about... Two eggs scrambled with four strips of crispy bacon. Now, how did you know I wanted that? I just know. It's scary sometimes, Mary Jo. How sometimes you just know. Max looks her over. People underestimate you, Mary Jo. One day, you're going to make your mark in the world. Yeah, maybe one day I'll be an astronaut. Mary Jo walks to another table, looks at a handsome Jacob Goldstein, 40. What can I get you, sir? I'm looking for a Mary Jo Sanders. Be you a collector? Me? Not a chance. Name's Jacob Goldstein. He holds out his hand, but she doesn't react. I'm a reporter for the New York Tribune. Mary Jo eyes him over. Ah, I ain't got nothing to say to the New York Tribune. She fiddles with what appears to be a wedding ring on her finger. I'm doing a piece about Jason Mitchell and his Senate campaign, and I understand you might know him. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I also understand you have a kid. She doesn't respond. 